Hello, everyone. Welcome to the monthly technical steering committee. Um, with again some really interesting news, we will lay that out all later in detail. It's about uh, EV charting special interest group way beyond Everest. We have a two days meetup upcoming at the ICNC in Europe. Uh, OCP is making big steps forward as well of ISO. Um, there we introducing now the ISO MOOC uh, library. And if you want to see in details, you can jump in the timeline uh, forward. But before we get into all the details, we quickly have to show the antitrust policy here. So there might be competitors in the room, so please behave. Um, yeah, so what's new? Let's get this rolling. As mentioned, uh, we now have a EV charting special interest group, which is uh, led by Robert, also here in the meeting. Do uh, you want to explain yourself, Robert, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna mute. Yeah, so the ever the Linux Nation Energy uh, Committee is growing that quickly that uh, it became a little bit hard to manage all the projects. Every project has a yearly review. Um, there's a monthly meeting uh, where all these projects are reviewed uh, with more than 24 projects. That was taking more time than the committee had, and also we had reviews of projects where having a background of EV charging. I have no clue what these grid guys are doing, but also probably the other way around. So LF Energy now uh, basically split up the the technical architecture, uh, the technical committee into separate uh, special interest groups. And we're the first one kicking off, which is the LF Energy EV charging special interest group, which brings all the EV charging projects together. Um, it's an open group. Uh, so anybody interested in open source and in EV charging, please join uh, and, and get to know us, get to know the projects, bring projects. Um, and also this is the moment where we review the projects, the EV charging projects within LF Energy. Um, and yeah, looking forward to this. Kickoff is next week. So next week, Wednesday is the first uh, time we have a special EV charging SIG call. Robert is breaking up. And we also will have uh, a face to face in Brussels on 6th of September. So, in case you're part of the uh, LF Energy Summit, please swing by. Okay. Uh, what else? We also want to give you small updates uh, on what other projects, uh, products, or devices are using Everest. So, on the list on the charges we know out there is like like seven ish, like the last uh, time, uh, same as uh, last time. Um, there's a lot of in stealth mode happening in the background. It's quick tease on what might happen soon is on this new slide here. So, the set of um, boards we're aware of which are using Everest. And again, it could be more. And if you know some, please let us know. We're happy to put them on the slides here. Um, these are basically the development kits of all the big silicon makers from TI, NXP, analog devices, and also new Renaissance. On the charging controllers, we have ChargeBite, FiTech, Advantech, and DFI are now upcoming, as well as Seed Studio. Yeah, and Pionics and Raspberry Pi, uh, you may have heard of that. We did some open hardware de reference design as well, just for getting people playing. This is, uh, we don't have any commercial interest with this hardware, but it's, yeah, good to, good entry door into uh, playing with charging. Um, so event recap, what happened? Uh, actually not much, only one event. Uh, yesterday, one of the Pionix team members had been at the IoT meetup in London, which had a special EV um, theme. There had been four different speakers, yeah, and we presented the charting side. And don't worry, the next uh, event recap will be way longer because now everything happens after the summer break in the next weeks. Cloud communication. Uh, Pete, you want to kick this off? Uh, sure, there, there has been quite some stuff uh, going on in, in the last month, also um, a lot of participants uh, every week in the Cloud Communication Working Group meeting. Um, yeah, two things I want to mention for OSPP201 is um, uh, the big steps in the smart charging implementation um, from the uh, Joel slash AFS. Um, the cont contributions are um, now coming in and we have like pull requests open for uh, the main use cases and are quite far with that already, uh, which is very nice. So we can uh, soon cover um, the main part of this uh, quite large functional block of the OSPP201 spec. 
Uh, and one other big change uh, that was merged this month was that we uh, replaced the kind of redundant definition of uh, component schemas and configs into one uh, component config that is quite flexible now where you can define uh, your device model setup and uh, the configuration with it. Um, for 1.6, we have added support for uh, California pricing. Uh, we are also currently working on adding this for OSPP201 uh, together with the functional blocks, uh, tariff and cost and display message. Um, and more of a general thing is that we have added some block rotation tooling with, uh, within libOSPP for both 1.6 and 2.0.1 um, so that you can define um, a couple of settings uh, to, to uh, enable this uh, and uh, that can be quite handy when you work with libOSPP. Thanks a lot. Um, so let's continue on the car communication side. Uh, Pete, again you, or is this better for this? Uh, prob probably me, yeah. The, uh, the biggest thing you already mentioned in the, in the introduction is the uh, ISO MOOCs module um, that allows us to uh, actually support uh, Dean spec ISO-2 and dash 20 at the same time. Before that, um, that was only um, possible by loading separate modules. Um, and with, with that module, uh, uh, all the different protocol types are supported. Um, there have been some improve, improvements in the EV manager, uh, and we have added uh, charging phase information uh, within the DC power supply as well. Um, lib ice 5011.8 is under heavy development, uh, especially for the dash 20, but also for the dash two. Um, open SSL support what was added to the library before that, uh, there was only support for, for embed TLS, but also there we are moving more towards, uh, using only open SSL. Um, and yeah, there are uh, quite some people working on the, on the dash 20 messages and also the state machine in uh, the lib ISO 1508. Thanks I think there's also an, a, an approach to re-implement the dash two in the Nava library, right? Is it still ongoing? It, it will be in the same library. So we started the lib ISO 1508 uh, in a way that the dash two and the dash 20 can be supported. But since we had an implementation for dash two already with the fcb 2 g module, we uh, focused on dash 20 in this library first, but um, we are also working on the dash 2 right now. Thanks. Hey, let's go to the framework and the tools. Um, I guess, Kai, you're best for this? Uh, yeah, um, there's two, um, let's say, bigger uh, draft pull requests or pull requests at the moment. Uh, one of them is for uh, implementing the config delivery via MQTT so that uh, each module gets a pre-passed slice of the configuration and doesn't have to do a lot of parsing again that the manager process already uh, did before. That uh, yeah makes this a lot more uh, flexible uh, what we can uh, parse in the manager and it will lead to a bit of a performance uh, gain during startup. And the second thing is uh, we uh, rep we can now basically replace boost log uh, with SPD log in our own uh, lib log logging library, which is just a fin fin wrapper uh, that mm -hmm. uses some uh, some macros. Um, there's also a pull request for that uh, at the moment. Yeah, I can continue with the CI, uh, CD and testing working group. Uh, there's only one small thing to, to report uh, right now. Uh, we're gradually getting code coverage reporting uh, out in uh, multiple repositories, starting with uh, LibLock and Everest framework. Uh, but this will then uh, yeah, be rolled out at least to lib also BP and, uh, and probably other uh, repositories as well. I think uh, lib ISO is also uh, starting to integrate this um, as well. But we still need a bit of uh, integration for uh, having this in uh, 
GitHub uh, pull requests as like a nice, uh, um, yeah, di diagram or like a table there. Uh, but you at least get HTML outputs from uh, GCover uh, already. I know this was on the to do or let's say wish list for two years now, and I think we had like demo versions of it for a while. So really happy to see this in or coming in. <laughs> Uh, general discussion and Q&A group. I think, Robert, you did that slide. You are mute, yep. I think. Uh, yeah. So I think the biggest thing we encountered the last month is that uh, SIE approached us. Um, they're working on MCS for the US market. And they really want to use Everest as a reference implementation. Um, so to get this ball rolling, I'm trying to set up a joint meeting between our car communication group and the MCS guys on how do we form this? Will they do the implementation? How much can we do? Can we get access to the specification because it's still in draft? Um, so I'm really trying to set up a line of meeting. Um, it's a bit slow, but oh, uh, fingers crossed we get something uh, done there quickly. Um, now, next to that, there's also work started on an implementation of 1511.8, which is basically Wi-Fi for wireless wireless chargers. Um, yeah, the, really nice to, to see that uh, also picking up, which is less used in the industry, but you really see uh, more of the, the corner cases also being implemented in Everest. So uh, yeah, huge steps there. And, and still, we, we went to a, a lower... Uh, frequency of calls, um, still good question, good amount of people uh, joining and good questions and uh, useful meeting. Thanks a lot. So the VMT team, um, it's just getting aligned. I think we had the first meeting like an hour ago. Um, we will do a voting on the actual members uh, at the end of this meeting after the recording because for privacy reason we don't want to expose individuals who may or may not be on that team. Anyway, um, I think it's fair to say that so far the last months, uh, nothing happened uh, in reports. Uh, that's it, in the last four weeks, um, but also before I think there was nothing. Um, they just finalized the setup, so we will report on the next uh, technical steering committee uh, how the, the entire organization structure and whatever will happen. Um, the current proposal is that we have one P uh, person from Prionics, one from Quellon, one from Stewart AFS as Sunday National Labs uh, environment. Uh, we'll see how the voting goes and we'll report you next time on this. Um, monthly release. Again, uh, we have uh, our usual release cycle recap. So we're now in a, let's say, minor release phase in August. Uh, September, there will be the next big release. So please make sure every big changes will go in by mid-September, which is like in uh, two and a half weeks already. There, we'll stop um, getting new things and starting to stabilize. So the next update will be smaller, but more stable. And um, yeah, Kai, you want to tell us what happened in August? Um, yeah, uh, you definitely noticed the vacation uh, period a little bit. So uh, a few uh, smaller things. I mean, things are lined up that might still uh, make it into uh, into this release, but maybe they get uh, get pushed uh, towards the, the stable release as well. Uh, so we had some uh, documentation for error handling uh, merged, uh, bug fix in the EVSE uh, manager, as well as in the uh, EV uh, manager. As we mentioned already, uh, California pricing uh, requirements had already uh, made its way into Everest core and will make it uh, into lib OCVP uh, soon, um, as well as these uh, updates for the uh, component uh, configs uh, for lib OCVP and uh, yeah, some other minor uh, bug fixes as well in the authorization uh, module and in general CMake code. And as always, will be released in the coming days. Sure. Thanks a lot. Um, so what's next? Um, we noticed quite some efforts going on in this entire Everest ecosystem regarding um, all kinds of grid integration or energy management. We would love to propose starting a new working group. Um, 
around that um, because maybe then all of this stuff can, let's say, settle together. And it should be around uh, the energy management algorithms, but also all the energy management protocols. So far, we have a basic implementation of um, SunSpec. We have the OCP smart charging stuff integrated. Um, and we, as far as we know, there's in implementation an open ADR uh, by another, I think, Dutch company who wanted to donate that. And Pionix is doing EBUS uh, with some partners at the moment. And we also saw quite some interest in looking for someone who want, maybe want to implement that uh, Meta integration into Everest. Uh, Meta seems to be the hot kit around the block um, for smart charging locally soon. I think Meta 1.3 is also integrating EVs explicitly. There seems to be a quite prominent library for all the Meta things. So we only would need the bridging into Everest. So if anyone volunteers for that, please let us know. Um, as well, we also would love to get uh, OCPP, the server side, into Everest, because also then, let's say, an Everest-based charger could behave, let's say, as a um, client underneath another, sorry, sorry, other way around. So that way we can manage other local chargers who don't, let's say, only can connect to servers, and then we can behave as a server and, yeah, make something like load balancing between uh, the current Everest charger, the software is running off and adjust them to our neighboring um, other third party chargers. Um, on the energy management side, on the roadmap, we have solar uh, load balancing, we have solar integration, pricing information, and also pricing. I just heard that California pricing relation is coming in, uh, but also dynamic pricing, for example, collecting that from uh, dynamic pricing providers like Tibber and others uh, would be really amazing to see. Um, and also on the um, V2X support, there's quite a bit happening, which will affect the energy management, like all the V2X coming soon, like from ISO 511 A-20, but also from Chademo and also from OCP 2.1, this is on the roadmap. Uh, yeah, again, anyone interested in the community, if we should do that working group, uh, let's align over the mailing list or, or over Zulip. And we would call it probably good integration energy management because that's where all of those things come together. Um, so let's continue with the roadmap. Pete, you want to take this over? Uh, yes. So we were able to move a couple of things into the today section, uh, which uh, was the advanced uh, monitoring and also uh, uh, yeah, the basic smart charting is something that we are currently working on. But Maybe even at the next uh, TSC, this will also be moved uh, to, to the today section because we are done with this. Uh, yeah, we are working on, on that right now. Um, we will also pick up um, the ISO 5011-8 use cases of the smart charging. Um, and there are already people working on uh, tariff and cost, display message, uh, and California pricing for, for 201. Reservation will be up next afterwards. Um, so we're targeting to have a, a full and stable implementation of OSPQP 201 uh, within Q4 2024. Um, and um, depending on how fast we are, uh, get started with the uh, BPT support um, for OSPQP 2.1 and OSPQP 2.1 in general, uh, the first things there will be to find a, a good setup uh, the good separation between the different protocol versions and um, um, yeah, to find the structure within the OSPP where we can actually start implementing uh, the, the requirements of the spec. Thanks a lot. And on the ISO side, oh, the slide is getting too small. <laughs> um, Right, uh, I mentioned this already uh, in, uh, in in the slide for it previously that that uh, we are working a lot in the lib ISO 1578 uh, on the dash 20 and the dash 2. Um, the um, ISO MOX module has been uh, has been published and can be used now to use the different protocol versions uh, in, in combination with each other. Um, we started with the DC part for for the dash 20 and also for DC BPT. Um, and uh, are currently focusing on the AC part of it, not only in the lib ISO 1511.8 library, but um, there's also work to do in the EBS e-manager for all the bidirectional integration 
um, and probably also the requirements that are coming in for the ISO 15118 smart charging from OSVP will be reflected in the implementations that, uh, that we need there. Thanks a lot. And I think the other things were also mentioned before. Um, on the general roadmap, um, so very high level uh, configuration services for Everest framework. I think there's uh, something going on in the framework working group. OCP, yeah, we just mentioned finishing 2.01, getting started with 2.1 is for the next quarter. Car communication, we mentioned ISO 20. There's also some effort on uh, GB team. Um, we're looking forward to get that integrated. We'll also be an external donation. We'll talk about the details when the time is right. I don't want to spoil the, the, the people here doing this. Um, Chao G, the same. On Char Demo, basically, we have everything ready for a stump library. We even have people willing to donate us the full implementation. But there's some, let's say, licensing discussion happening in the background with the Char Demo organization. So we're happy if anyone wants to support us, uh, if you reach out to Chademo people and uh, explain them the need for this. Uh, so far, there's no decision. Um, yeah, and on the background and other things, continuously adding new drivers, car uh, side cloud compatibility. Yeah, and midterm, we already mentioned that also P.01, uh, road connections for Everest modules. It's like on the forever wish list, uh, comes whenever it's urgent. And we'll do that. Um, Chademo, GPT, Chao G, all of that will go in one way or the other in, let's say, the, the Everest ecosystem, worst case on the commercial side only. Um, advanced energy management, um, we just mentioned that we want to have a working group around the algorithm side of this, but also around the protocol side. Um, yeah, we hope a lot of this will happen in the next 12 months. Upcoming events. Um, we mentioned there was not much in the last four weeks, but there will be a lot in the next four weeks. Uh, ICNC Tech Village, uh, Intercharge Network Conference in Berlin, starting uh, Monday uh, next next week, so 10 days from now, and will be huge, uh, hugest, yeah, I would say, network conference for around charging in Europe, at least Europe. And there will be a new Tech Village, which we are, as from Pionic side, organizing together with Subject. But I think there will be also many other community members like ChargeBite and S44 presenting. Even the Linux Foundation itself will have the keynote on that tech village. Um, again, LF Energy will meet in Brussels some days later. Open Source Summit Europe uh, will be present in Vienna and Austria. Uh, Char in Latin, uh, Latin America and Mexico. We don't know if someone will go there. We're really looking for someone yeah, contributing the, the presence from Project Everest in Mexico. Uh, I will be at the DROP conference, which is a big startup clean tech conference and organizing a, an own side event all around open source. So if you want to join, uh, let me know. Uh, IA8 and Transportation, we are there together with Canonical. We're part of the Plugfest in Stuttgart next to Vector, organized by Vector Informatic. Um, yeah, we'll be at Char next Char and we will be at the we got invited to the network future car. They got interested in our open source activities. We should present it there. Uh, so this is, I think, next six weeks. And yeah, there's way more OCA, 10th uh, anniversary, Electronica, next Sharon in North America, where maybe Joe will be present, maybe Pionics, let's see, and way more to come. And if you have anything what's missing on this list, also further out down the road, or you want to be mentioned here as one other community representative, please reach out to us. We're happy to put you on the list. Yeah, and the next technical steering committee will be in four weeks from now, or this time a bit more, 26th of September, same time. Alternatively, there's every week, I think around three different working groups going on. Some of them are every second week. You, may, you have seen there's even new ones to be announced. Uh, please stay up. And beside that, let's switch now to the discussion mode. And thank you for listening. And yeah, see you next time.